Okay, good morning, uh, afternoon, evening. Uh, yeah, we'll have to do this in one go. Um, there was no time for the orchid nursery. So I had to be content with a trip to the orchid store, orchid shop. And how content I was. Um, I got a big bag full and let's unwrap them, shall we? Uh, I forgot which one is which, so I will be surprised with you. And I got one orchid I looking was looking for for four years now. Well, ever since I got started with orchids. And they had it. Yes, they did. That's why I'm so content. Okay, first one is... Uh, Dendrochylum Glumaceum. It is done flowering. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty plant. It's super pretty. This one comes from Southern Tyrol. Yeah, nursery in Southern Tyrol. Well, that's first. Yeah, I'm gonna take you in a little closer. Oh. All new growth. But it flowers on young growth, so I have to wait for new stuff for new flowers. There's some Osmo coat in it. Coconut. Well, we're going to do the unpotting and repotting in a bit. Nah, not today. Not today. Okay, the next one is a petite one. Très petite. Well, the light levels are extremely crap. Give me light. Ah. It's a small growing orchid. This is a Plurothalis. And I had a name with it. Well, that was the other batch. It is in flower. And there are buds to come. You can see here, there's a bud. And this was really nicely priced. It was only 9 euros. <coughs> Looks good. Feels good. Yeah, and I don't know how to grow them. They didn't have masses. If they had, I would have gotten a massive. Uh, the big stuff. Well, yeah, I don't know what's in it, so. How? <clears throat> oh. oh, yeah. I never had this one before either. And this one I will take a risk on. Look at that. A Phalaenopsis mini mark. Yeah, it is super pretty. 
I've never seen one for real, so plant looks really healthy, nice shiny leaves. And these are probably grown there because they do grow a lot of phalaenopsis. Okay, there we go, the next one. Oh, oi. Yeah, I'm gonna show them up closer a little bit, so... Okay, this is the one I have been looking for for four years. A Brasavola. Damn, I got it. This is, uh, well, it looks like a Nodosa, but... It is called Lady of the Night. And... <clears throat> It was a bit expensive. <coughs> this one was the same price. And I didn't go over budget. No, I didn't. Is it fragrant, you may ask? Yes, it is. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I've always been uh, apprehensive about ordering online so I just had to wait for them to eventually get them and now they did yeah it's yeah practically done flowering but that's okay I have no idea what this one is going to do it flowers from the center of the leaf but when and how? We'll have to find out. Uh, two more. And I only got one obsidian this time. And that's this one. This is a uh, let me see, let me see. Um, I have this one and it's mounted, but it never did anything for me. This is a brasada. That's a cross between a brasia and ada. And this one's called Orange Delight. Um, it flowers on immature bulbs. You can see here the flowers a little bit hidden. These are spidery flowers. But it has a lot of new stuff. And they're cheap. Only $10.99. Orchid, Cambria, Orange Delight. Yeah, sure. We all know what that means. Okay, good. Last one. And this is a stinker. Not that it's foul smelling, but it's very, very strong. And this is one that is a bit weird because we did a care collab on it a while back. And turns out that this is a uh, Maxillaria variabilis, and turns out that mine is absolutely not a variabilis. But yay! This one also comes from Raffiner uh, Sweet Tirol. And this one has a really, really strong smell. My sister loved it. I'm not that fond of it, but I love the flowers. Yeah, I do need a little bit of close-up. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? It's only nine minutes. This was the smallest one of the batch, 
Wat was ook nie. Daniel Kylum. Ja, this one is, uh, it's called the Red Tail Orchid. I have um, the Cobianum, which has very small dendrobium-like flowers. And this one isn't visible yet, or anymore. But yeah, nice fleshy bulbs. It's basically a young plant. Yeah, this one is super sweet. Let me see if I can get those flowers. So I'm not even sure if these are open or no. I think these still have to open, but there are more buds to come. And there's the Phalaenopsis mini mark. And yes, it is pretty. Yeah, I like these mid-sized uh, Phalaenopsis a lot better than the big ones, including the flowers. This is way prettier than those blankets you get. Is it scented? Well, I don't know. Could be. Could be not. Okay, uh, now I have to find a little uh, spot for them. Well, we can find something. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed it. Later.